Hi, Arash here with Balanced Physical Therapy. So I want to touch on a topic uh, It's near and dear to my heart. It's something that I find uh, to be very, very endearing to me as a person. And it's a search that I've, I've continued uh, in my professional and my personal life. And it's something that I want to pass on to you guys. So this kind of touches on what we addressed last time about um, parasympathetic and sympathetic mode of the body, right? So we got fight or flight, rest or digest, you know, being able to understand the variation in the human being, okay? So what do I have up here? Psychosoma, what does that mean, right? Psycho, psych, psyche, psychology, all these different things, what are we talking about? It's a number of things, but ultimately we're talking about the mind. And I put that in quotes because we don't fully understand what the mind is. We have the brain, which is the physical organ that represents what we associate with mind, right? If you ask most people, uh, you know, where, where are you? Where do you get your sense of self? They're going to tell you behind, maybe behind my eyes, maybe between my ears. Most of us kind of associate spatially somewhere in the cranium, maybe a little lower, somewhere in here. Um, so the brain is really the, the processing organ. It, it, it just, it gives us our thoughts, it, which leads to what? Our words, right? Which leads ultimately to action, but not just from an external standpoint, but also intrinsically for us as people, how we interact with ourselves, right? So when you go to the root of thinking, this is, a, this is a big topic, cognitive restructuring. So you're going to the depths of this processing system, your thoughts, right? And we have three levels. We have the things that are conscious, things that we're very aware of day to day, things that might be a little bit under the surface, surface subconscious, and then the things that we're not aware of, these unconscious uh, processes that are there, right? So cognitive restructuring really is really just bringing focus to what we can, what we can bring awareness to. And, and building a sense of awareness is, a, is an active process, but it's one that will give you um, a continued deepening sense uh, that you probably right now don't believe you could get. So I invite you to try, some, try a few techniques and I'll talk you through them. Uh, this first one for cognitive restructuring is gonna be, I'm a big fan of pen and paper, okay? Sit down, be in a relaxed state, and just process, bring a, as full of attention as you can what's going through your mind and write down those thoughts in words the best that you can. And, and do this in different times of the day, do it at different times of the week, and you're gonna start to see certain patterning, right? Are you more on the positive end? Or are you more on the negative end? Are you a mix of the two? Are you in the middle? Get an idea of where you are, right? Because thoughts can get distorted. So when thoughts get distorted, it changes our words, it changes our actions, it changes the way we interact with the environment, the way that we treat ourselves. Uh, so the thought, being able to change it, you have to first be aware of what you currently have, right? So start to build this vocabulary on the surface, so write it down, make it real, and then start to restructure this. This is really what it comes down to is, okay, well, this really, you know, does, the evidence in the real world doesn't support this. I don't know, this is a faulty thinking pattern. This is a faulty uh, sentence. This, is, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This isn't the truth, right? So then you can start to actively guide your thought process, just like physical exercise. As physical therapists, we're constantly purporting, what do we gotta do to get you stronger and functioning and moving better? But to get that to occur, we also have to make sure your thought process is where it needs to be. And this is not a passive process. It's something you have to invest time into, okay? So I'll come back to this. Combining it with soma. So what's soma? Body. It means body. Somatic. It's referring to the body system. Just everything that we think of physical, our physicality, right? We know we're body and mind creatures. We, we're just, there's a connection there, right? So tuning into them separately, but then also finding ways to combine them is what we call grounding, right? So I'm gonna show you a simple way to do this. But for the body, we wanna scan. So think of like a, a laser printer, like you might actually go through some imagery and visualization of something imaging, you know, and you can do multiple patterns. You can go from the top down, bottom up, you can do 
one arm at a time, you know, go through the trunk several times, go through one leg at a time, whatever it may be and wherever your attention goes to, follow that intuition and spend some time there and see if there's tensions or if there's certain things you have to let go of, whatever it may be. Uh, we tend to carry energy in our body, our somatic nervous system. This is all those little wirings that you have coming out of your spinal cord. It, it gives us feedback to the brain and there's a loop, okay? So when you come to this body scan, it's gonna build a sense of body awareness, right? Once you get really good at this, you can start to combine these two, right? You know, you may have some sort of imagery technique that you're going through when you're scanning about your body. You might have one aspect, let's say it's your left knee, you know, it's like, it's been painful, you know, I'm carrying some tension, uh, there's tightness, bring some compassion, breathe into it, feel it let go, you know, and there's many different, really just a lot of intuitive, nonverbal things that you're gonna develop. Your own, it's your own process. You're gonna find this as you go through it of, you know, what's the spectrum of being all the way activated in that fight or flight, you know, your exer that exercise mode where you're just, you're pumping out, like you know your body's on all cylinders. And then what's relaxation for you? So that changes for people through time, different seasons of life. This is a time where wellness is being challenged, right? So I challenge you to find out the other end of relaxation. And that's a very active process. Um, and as you bring that down, you're gonna notice the difference of, oh wow, you know, I thought this was relaxed, it's really not. And that's really what these things are gonna, are, are gonna bring you, a more awareness of the body, of the mind, the connection. Um, you know, notice your breathing's gonna go down, your heart rate's gonna go down. You may sense, you feel a sense of ease through your day, you know, so it's one of these things we gotta put some time into, and it's hard to put words to. But it's one of those I, I really, I invite you to spend some time with mine, spend some time with the body. Get them to connect, get them to integrate. This is what it's about. Find that, find that sense of self. Uh, and, and to do that, isolate them first and integrate. I hope this is helpful. I'll continue uh, the series with this. I invite you to go check us out, balancept.com. Uh, be in touch.